The King of Atlantis gets a new figure release. As we have a look at DC Collectibles DC Essentials, figure number seven, this is Aquaman. DC Essentials is a line of 7-inch action figures based on DC characters with universal appeal, accessible to both long-time collectors and those just starting out, which deliver authentic detail from a company with two decades experience creating high-quality action figures. Gents, if I can call you gents, I think the first thing we're going to do is before we have a look at Aquaman, gents, we're going to go ahead and take the tape measure and put it up to the top of Aquaman's head. And I feel as if something was missed because I think the figures are supposed to be seven inches in height. And yet the Ultra Measuretron tells us that Aquaman stands at a very impressive 7.3 inches screaming in the background what about centimeters what about centimeters okay centimeters the figure stands at 18.6 throwing in the obligatory size comparison part of this video let's put him next to and not get him to fall let's put him next to the cape crusader batman <sighs> these ankles these ankles oh the world will never know the frights and sadness that is being upheld here in this review as we have a look at these loose ankles on these figures. Anyways, there's Superman, Batman. Why not? We'll throw a villain in there. There's Brainiac. Um, as you can see, all the figures stand roughly about the same height. I guess perhaps based on Aquaman's lift in his hair makes the figure a little bit taller. Maybe the Ultra Mesotron wasn't incorrect when it gauged the figure at 7.3. To Aquaman's credit, he does get an accessory, and that is his gold trident. Now, unfortunately, some sad news to report from this humbled reviewer to you, the viewers. The trident has been painted, and I know it's been painted by the fact that it has paint already starting to chip off. I know what you're thinking. That's green paint. How do you not know that it's the hands that have not been chipping off? Well, I guess that could be a valid point as well. Maybe the, a little bit of the green paint is chipping off instead. But needless to say, either way, there's something left, unfortunately, on the handle portion of the trident when he is wielding it. Maybe it is actually the paint that's coming off of his hand. Um, he only, uh, unfortunately, has one hand in which he can hold the trident. So it's a simple guess. It's a simple guessing game as to which hand you're going to use. You have a 50-50 chance... I hope you guess right, but it's this hand right here. And it's just a pain in the butt to get it through because he's got this little knob on the end. Why does that knob need to be there? I don't know. Why does any knob need to be there? I I, I don't know. But he holds it in his hands and uh, paint removal pending, of course. It does look good with him at the very least coming with an accessory. Doesn't help this figure by any stretch of the imagination, but at the very least, he does have a weapon, an accessory. <sighs> Long overdue. So we're going to go ahead and take the trine after all that, after that big startup, take the trine out of his hand. Again, this little knob, I don't know why it needs to be there. Trident is made up of three tips, all three tips, little on the fragile side, so be a little careful for that. Let's have a look at Aquaman in hand. Now, okay. <sighs> me, 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 me. E-I-O-U, 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 and sometimes why? Some mouth exercises before we get knee deep into this review. This Aquaman, for the most part, if I was to look at it from the top, what is he talking about? E-I-O-U. From the bottom to the top. Right, starting about right there. Okay, that's a good looking Aquaman figure featuring a more classic looking outfit. Me featuring those orange scales. I love you oh so much, orange scales. And it does look good here on the figure. He does also have his traditional green, would you still call them tights? With the little fin sticking out from the back of his leg. 
which I guess makes more sense if it's turned that way. There we go. It's on the back of his legs. Also has his traditional gold and Aquaman A logo belt. And he's got some nice gold on the top. You'll notice so far what I've left off is describing his head. Everything here I really like. I like the metallic nature of the individual links of his uh, scaling there in his orange outfit, his orange top. Get to the figure's head, somebody screams. Okay, well, we'll get to the figure's head. Now, I've got real problems with this figure, at least from the head standpoint. For starters, he's got all this paint that getting him immediately out of packaging <laughs> has chipped off, or I don't know what has happened here, but I've got this gold crap. I'm just going to say crap all over Aquaman's neck here. I'm just going to scrape it off. He did have one big solid piece of plastic right there about this size, that size there, wedged in the corner of his eye. So I thought I could simply just take, and I actually did use the trident. I flicked it out. Unfortunately, flicking it out though, left what I guess is the coloring that the plastic is underneath all the paint. So now I've got this and I'm pointing at the trident just to indicate where it is. I've got this missing area of paint, like right here right where the middle tip of the trident is circling around. If you can overlook that, I still think, after all that, I sp how much time did I spend talking about that? I don't like the figure's head sculpt. I don't. It sort of kind of looks like Superman's head sculpt. Similar. I mean, you could almost look at them and not think... I don't know, that, that seems to me like it's a similar head sculpt and all they've simply done is change the color of the hair. And of course the sculpting of the hair is different as well. Aquaman's kind of sporting more like a 70s hairstyle, but it does seem like it bears some very strong resemblance to the Man of Steel. Hmm, could they not have given him a better head sculpt than this? I personally don't like it. I like Superman's head sculpt. But maybe I like it because there's some depth to it because it's got some dark black paint. Unfortunately, with Aquaman, because he has blonde hair, I find it just doesn't work for this particular head sculpt. He does have high cheekbones and he's got the cleft chin. Yeah, that sounds all great on paper, but there's something that's missing its mark when it comes to the head sculpt. I, 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 don't, I don't care for it. The hair is almost very vintage. He almost kind of looks like he has been plucked out of the 70s. If I was to compare this, say, for example, to the Justice League, what was it, like the new 52 Justice League Aquaman, I think that's a, that's a sexy, glorious specimen of Aquaman that makes this one seem lackluster. I mean, again, the paint's good, but it's it really starts and stops with a good head sculpt. If the head sculpt isn't great... It doesn't matter how much paint you want to slap all over it. I'm not personally crazy about the head sculpt. I know I'm a tough person to read, but I'm not crazy on the head sculpt. If you are, that's fantastic. Gold medal for you. You like the head sculpt. I'm not crazy about it myself. But everything else, though, works for Aquaman. We have yet to talk a little bit about the ankles. I've gone back and watched some of my older reviews. And by older, I mean like a couple weeks ago of the other Essentials figures. And I realize at nausea, I probably talked a little bit too much about the ankles, but you know what? You have to talk about what the hot topics are. You can't overlook the hot topics. And the hot topics, not the store, but the topic of point here, is the fact that they all the figures have loose joints. Aquaman isn't so bad, knock on wood, but I feel like whatever enjoyment I'm getting out of the figure currently, it's short-lived. And that seems to be the feeling I have with a lot of the Essentials figures. I can enjoy them, but long-term. That's what you have to look at. You have to look at long-term. Sure, the relationship is working good now, right there. But you got to think big picture, man. you got to think full spectrum. You can't just be taking a little sliver of enjoyment. you got to imagine, is this thing going to work? I'm so far enjoying the relationship I'm having with this figure. Leave your comments down below. What I do feel, though, is long-term, if I was to settle down and have a, a long-standing relationship with this figure, leave your comments down below, 
I feel as if this figure is going to let me down down the road just because he's going to have loose joints, which is, seems to be the case with all the figures that I've had so far. People have said workarounds to that is incorporating and adding a little bit of floor polish to stiffen the joints. I haven't yet tried that, so if you have, let me know down below. But I don't, I feel again they have to change the ankle joint on these figures to make them better figures. This is so far the only figure that I've actually been let down for, and it's not nothing to do with the ankles. I just don't really like the head sculpt on Aquaman. It's the most disappointing of all the figures that I've looked at. In my humbled, humbled opinion, he's the worst looking head sculpt. Talking about his head articulation though, as we work our way through the figure's posability, his head rotates all the way around and it hinges up and down. Uh, the shoulders hinge outward. Do I feel like, do you guys feel like I've been hard on this figure? I don't know. I'm starting, just, I'm stopping for a second. I'm just sort of evaluating everything I've just said. Do I, have I been a little too harsh on this guy? I mean, his head sculpt isn't terrible. It doesn't look like a bag of snakes. No, no, I don't like the figure. <laughs> I don't like that sculpt. Arms rotate all the way around. Just, I'm just jiving with you guys. Uh, biceps swivel. Uh, he does have the same double hinge on the elbow as all the other Essentials figures has, even though for the fact he's much more bulkier with the torso here. Uh, the hands rotate all the way around. No, no, Jeremy. His gloves don't rotate, just in case you were wondering. Uh, upper torso. Uh, upper torso hinges up and down. A little on the stiffer side, but that's okay. Waist swivels. And uh, then, of course, you've got the leg articulation. You've got the forward and back articulation. You swivel on the swiveling area of the thigh right here. That's about three quarters of the way. That's a cut in the thigh. That's a three quarter thigh cut swivel. FYI. Double, double hinge on the knee. And he's also got a swivel in the boots. And he's also got a hinge back and forth on the feet. Do my best not to talk too much about the ankle articulation, but I will talk a little bit about how loose these legs are. Not this so much, not this leg so much. This leg right here. See? I'm telling you. You gotta think. You gotta think full spectrum. You can't just be focusing on this. You gotta think big picture. Big picture, unfortunately, I feel like the DC Essentials lineup as a whole is gonna break my heart. Sure, the relationship sounds good just yet and sounds good so far. But I feel like long term, long term, that's the part that's gonna, it's gonna break my heart. And so far, this figure is about the only figure that has, from a sculpt level, broken my heart because I don't really care for this head sculpt of Aquaman. Now take the opinions of this vigilant Aquaman figure collector with a grain of salt. Some people may actually like this figure and for, for the most part, I will say, from the neck down, I really like this figure quite a bit incorporates some classic designs and colors that I've always really been a big fan of this particular costume. So I like it from that standpoint. But the head, the head lets this figure down because I'm looking at the figure's head sculpt and I can't help but think I'm looking at the head sculpt of Superman simply with blonde hair. That head sculpt looked good on the Man of Steel but doesn't look that great for Aquaman. It seems jarring like I am looking at Superman with a wig. Of all the figures I've collected over the years for this Atlantean King, I'd almost even take the DC Universe Classics Aquaman as my all-time favorite, with this one a very far, far down the totem personal favorite. I would even take the new 52 uh, Aquaman over top of this figure, and that one has limited articulation. This one does have enough posability to, to merit picking it up, but again, I don't feel like there's something there's something about the head sculpt that isn't working for me. Luckily, knock on wood, the legs have held up well enough that I can get the figure to stand, but as we've discussed over the course of these reviews, long term is what we have to really look at, and I feel like the ankles just aren't going to hold up, and these figures, as a result, aren't going to stay standing on your shelf. You're probably going to come into your room later on in life, depending on how long you have these in your collection, and you're probably going to find them on the floor because their poor ankles have given way. Either way, though, a bit of a mixed bag here with the Aquaman. Like I said, pick him up if you want to add him to your existing DC Essentials lineup. But I think he is or possesses one of the worst head sculpts in my own honest opinion. 
Today we were having a look though at the DC Essentials Aquaman action figure from the DC Essentials lineup, which I think actually happens to be the last figure, and I've done all the reviews so far until we get ourselves, I guess, season three or series three of the lineup, and expect reviews of those to follow. If you have managed to pick up any of these figures for yourself, let me know down below in the comments section what you think of them, and let me know what you think of this Aquaman. Does he seem off to you as well, or is it just me? Does he seem like he's got the head sculpt of Superman, just simply wearing a wig? Let me know down below, and we will digest that conversation together. Speaking of together, and speaking of banding together, if you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button, are you new to this channel? Let me know down below. We'll digest that as well. But make sure you hit that little subscribe button. It's just below this video. And why not, while you're at it, swing over to the homepage and see if there's any videos that you may have missed along the way. We're going to have some more videos coming onto this channel. I always say we, but it's, it's just me. I like to say we so it sounds like there's a team of experts behind the scenes that are producing this content for you. But ultimately, it's just me and me alone. More videos will be coming your way, so certainly stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.